command in the year 2021. I want to thank you for your cooperation, for your patience and understanding with the system. Because I know when I was in February, we are, we are faced with financial challenge and not more than two weeks of assumption. And you see sent us a letter that we should present 16 programs which eventually uh, became also 17 for accreditation. Accreditation and the result came out with 11 programs getting full accreditation and six programs entering. Honestly, I want to say that apart from the support of the people that assisted on the front, our cooperation really had a loss. And this is to tell us that the beginning and the end of 2021 was a very successful year for us. And I want to thank every one of us for the contribution we made towards that. And we need to thank God Almighty for keeping us alive to see the end of 2021 and we're also keeping us alive to see the beginning of this year. And we pray that God Almighty will see us through this year also successfully with our good heads and with a lot of achievements for the institution for, and for also individuals. But this part the effort we have put, I still want to remind us that there are pending issues which ordinarily we are supposed to have concluded in 2021, which we have not done. And uh, it is time for us to manage our time so that maybe the first two months we should conclude those assignments that we need, that are supposed to have concluded in 2021. One of it is the strategic plan. We know the strategic plan we are using before and last at the end of 2021. By now, we're supposed to have another strategic plan in place that will be guiding session of the university for the next five years. But that has not been concluded. But I think we have done close to 80% of the work. What we are trying to do now is to see that we have a complete document that we can use as a framework you know, with the committee and some resource person that will be brought in to assist us in having a perfect document that will stand as our strategic plan. So, uh, possibly within this week, we are going to see how that document will be obtained and then we now put in place arrangements on how the committee will work to finalize the last strategic plan. The other issue is the ICT master plan for the university. It's another thing that we're supposed to have concluded. We have not done so. We need to work hard on that. Then the revise or revision of our fiscal master plan for the university. We know in, our, in one of our meetings, 
the director of school planning made presentation, giving us the kind of strategic, uh, the, the kind of after school master plan that we're supposed to be using, which we did not comply with, and we have had some infrastructure already located in some areas. And we now say, okay, there should be a proposal that we incorporate all that we have, all the existing infrastructure, and then that proposal should also suggest location for subsequent projects. That has been done, and we have also constituted a committee. But this committee is not just going to be only internal members. We are also looking at some professionals from outside to join them so that we are going to have a fiscal master plan that's going to guide how we develop this our campus. Even though we have made some temporary suggestions of some facilities, all those who are incorporated in the final uh, submission. So if there are any issues so far or whatever that's on ground, I want us to please wait until when this committee finalizes on uh, the assignments so that we can see the kind of adjustments they are going to do in uh, the fiscal master plan that uh, we are having. Then, the other thing pending, we know that we had a management uh, training for principal officers, teams and directors at Abuja last year. And we said the next stage is that this training should be stepped down. That we have not done, because when you talk of management, it is not only the principal officers, these are directors that are management staff. Some other head of units and head of department are also management staff. So whatever we have learned, we need to also step it down so that these people can also uh, get the knowledge that we have acquired and all of us will be on the same page. So we need to also work fast on how to step down this uh, training. The other one is the regularization of appointments. Even so, I want to also please hear that this is a new university that is just going and we have little resources. There is need for all of us to have the understanding of the system. We, have, we need to cooperate. We need to understand our mandates. And we should use our own, our own responsibility to help the system to maximize the utilization of our resources, resources. Because there are times that either the principal officers or the PC office moves around to see certain things and be calling some officers' attention to it. Ordinarily, we expect when we are given a mandate you should know that, that that is your own mandate. You should not allow anybody to be reminded you that certain thing is not done. Because there are a lot of issues here that we've mentioned several. I personally have mentioned it to some officers personally. And uh, whenever we have any forum like this, 
I call attention to whether at the Senate or at uh, some other meetings. But it seems we are not responding uh, well or fast enough. A university has three departments, and we can run that university high, higher than those that have over 50 departments. So this is what we should know in academics. It's not the number of buildings you have. It's not how beautiful your buildings are. It's not how big your buildings are that matters in the university ranking. When they want to rank, nobody will go to your university and count the number of buildings you have. It's, it's not within their criteria. So we need to stop. What matters now most, if really we want to be ranked high, is for us to strengthen our programs. It's not even about creating new academic programs. The existing ones, what is the strength? The existing program, what is the strength? And in my own case, that's my own notion. If I will even finish my VC ship without adding one program, but all the existing programs are strong, and recognize all over the world, I, I, I'm satisfied. So it's not about go. Oh, you have greater, you have so so. It's not about go and see any ranking criteria. Nobody talk about number of programs you have. They are talking about how many students have you graduated. Here you have some of us, with, and the number of students you graduated also is determined by how you train them. So we should go quickly and look at those criteria that matters. And that's the reason why when I came in, I tried to say human capital development is the most important thing. And that's why we are putting training to be the first thing. Because if you have sufficient resources around you, and your personnel, they are not well trained to do that resources, they are going nowhere. But if you have little resource, and your personnel, they are well trained, that little resource, they will try to, if it is only one way of using it, because of their talent, they will bring seven ways of using that little resource you have. And that is why we should, we have not even any rights to be complaining of the little resource we have. Today is not about resource economy any longer. It's about knowledge economy. The little you have, how many times can you turn it into useful things? And that's what we should be talking of. But today, we want to have everything to be sufficient around us. It cannot be. It can be. And that's why if you look at that ranking, they did. Most of these big, big universities, we are going to see they, 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 they are level. The private universities that are smaller, that will, they are the ones on, on, on top. Why? Because they are emphasizing research, they are emphasizing human capital development, and their, their, their website is busy. They are showcasing themselves. Some of us, we have so many research work that anywhere they see people will be moved, but we are, we are not known to the public. So we are not doing ourselves any, 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 any good. So I want us to look at this aspect. When we talk about training, it should not be left in the hand of university management alone. At the departmental level, at the faculty level, you can carry out training. And training, or when we talk of human capital development, you can do it through training. You can do it through mentoring. You can do it through several meetings. When you meet more often, 
many people will bring different ideas. It's part of training, right? As you conduct meeting, more often will discuss problems. You people will have solutions to the problems. But I can tell you there are some departments that maybe in the semester they haven't made new ones. There are some faculty that in the semester they will hardly make new ones. And this meeting instead is part of the training we are talking of. Every department or faculty should design a mentoring scheme for their younger ones. And where you feel there is need to organize a special training and your faculty cannot handle, you go to us. We have a unit now that is handling training for us. And that is why on my assumption of duty at least. Any category of staff in this university now, I don't want to project our image well. So we need to work on our human resource very well at all levels, at the parliamentary level, at the faculty level, and at the university level. It's very, very important. Because our system should be different from other agencies we are seeing around us. This is a university. Let us be serving the system as those people that are working in the university. And we are trying as much as possible to call people's attention to this. Because if you are working in the university and you want to be personalizing matters, that is not university activity. If you are working in the university, you are looking at, oh, who is who that person that is working against me? That is not, you are not working in the university. What matters most is, who is that person working against the university? And I've told people several times, I personally have been showing that as anybody is doing Against this university, I will show my right eyes. Why? Because God will ask me. When the university was under your control, what did you do? So that I will not allow anybody to spoil it. If I have the power to stop anybody to spoil this university, I will do it. But if you want to stop my own personal self, I've handled myself to God to take care of people that are working that life. So please. If you want to headway on many issues in this university, forget about personalizing matters. Whether you are HOD, you are dean, you are director, you are vice chancellor, you are registrar, you are any people of business. I've told you that position, you are that office, you are a visitor here. One day, somebody will be in that office. The office you are managing, somebody will be there and you come and visit this building. Where the visitors are sitting, that's where you sit. Then why are you bribing and thinking the office is for you? It's not. Then this now will be going now. Maybe in March, if you come and go to his office, if you will sit in that uh, it's not going to So it happens to everybody. So and that's why you should take it simple. You are in the office, you take everything personal. You are in the office, you take things, official matter to be secretive. So what you, what you don't want people to see, when you leave the office, it will even be in the next of a university. Then why are you then bothering yourself? Please, management, is not about yourself. It's about the system you are managing. But most of us, we are carried away with our offices. It's not good. You use your office to harass people, to harass students, to harass staff. Where are you taking it to? By the time your table finish and you put you aside, you will become some sort of pit. Why? Because when you are there, you do not manage relationships. And relationships are about management. You manage relationships. You see people stay for long years. As friends, they are managing themselves. They are managing the relationship between themselves. And there are people that even one day cannot manage a relationship. 
and there are people that will stay for 20 years, you will not know what is between them. Not that they don't parent, not that they don't show difference in their, their understanding, but they are managing the relationship. So this is the way I want all of us as management staff to look at issues. Please, if really we want progress of this university, this is how we should look at issues. No sentiment, no selfishness. Because what some people don't even look. The, the, the sentiment and selfishness is a, is a block to your progress. You don't know. The person you are harassing today, you don't know where you're waiting to go. So that is why we just have to do things in a way that all of you also will benefit. If we manage this institution, we develop this university, the benefit of it will come to all of us. And if any administration should focus on developing individuals, it's wasting the resources of the, the, the institution. Because one day that individual will go, but the university will remain. Then if you use the resources to develop the individual, that one go, that means you are wasting the resources. Today, if I have used the resources of uh, the university to develop myself, and I get something somewhere and I leave, the, the resources are gone. So the same thing I will not do to others. But we have to do it in such a way that even when you yourself will leave the system, your children are coming to work here, or they are coming to study here, and the resources used to develop the system, they will still benefit from it. So please, let us look at issues in this way. Our 2022 should be a different one. I know in 2021 we have tried, but there are a lot of things that I personally also overlooked. I had a lot of things, but because I've told you from the beginning that nobody will use me to work against or in favor of anybody. And I've tried to maintain that to the end. And that will be sustained even this year. So, at the same thing, I want all of us, all of us, to look at issue officially. No personal matter to meet. That's the only way we can help ourselves. Some of the developments, even though it's just for us to, I know most of us must have noticed it. When I came in, there's a road abandoned, one 2.1 kilometer road, and the contractor has been giving us serious problems. We have been thinking of how to handle that matter. At the end, we were bold enough to terminate the contract. But when we have to take it diplomatically, I invited some of his people and I told them, Dude, this man, this project was the first project given by the former vice chancellor in 2016. And he didn't finish it. But they were able to talk to him. And at the end, we have to look for another contractor. And because of the delay or of a delay of that project, the implication, the cost implication has gone so bad. Because that we and that space the road. And anybody that sees it see that the road has finished. So this is the bold step we are taking. I need to settle that aspect. When we come to other projects, we are faced problems with most of the contractors too. But we are handling them one after the other. And today, the faculty of Agrit have been completed and they have also already moved in. We have an entrepreneurship that has been completed, it's already in use. Our head cleaning, the same thing. That we completed and they started using it. Because what we did for some of them is to see that whatever they can, the contractor can do, they should do it. And then we will now go and see what the gap. Those things, because of the cost that are gone, some things cannot be procured by them. So we have to now see the gap and the university now fill that gap. That is why we are seeing that some of these projects we are doing them and they are, they are using them now. The INET for Arts and Science 
very soon that's one also be handed over to us. So then the MIS also we are already talking, MIS uh building there, we are also talking already. And I uh, I'm, I'm hoping before end of this month we should be able to uh, for now this is just the situation report and my remark uh, at this meeting. I want to thank you for your patience and for listening. Thank you very much. Okay, one, well,